Was that awesome or what, you guys? <clears throat> Welcome back to the second leg of tonight's stream. Big shout out to Anna for that intro. I love it. And you know what's so great about that? Is it uses, um, or its uses can be intro, intermission, and as an outro. <sighs> yep. Yep. So uh, get some rest, Anna, and um, we'll be looking for you in the near future. And I want to tell you guys, while we're at it, there's a lot of us scumbags that have medical problems, physical problems, mental problems for sure, me. And it may require, you know, that we get extra rest or take some medicine that knocks us out. Uh, stuff like that. So if you don't see anybody in the stream for a while, just take that in stride. That they may have some sort of an affliction that has to be addressed. So um, just keep that in mind. What I try to do is just try to welcome, welcome everybody uh, back when I see them. And I say this, watch when you can, leave when you need to. But if you're not doing anything constructive, I expect your ass to be here in my stream. That's right. <clears throat> that's right. All right. So enough. That's the, um, I, and I really do mean that 100% about uh, people that have issues. Sometimes you just don't know. Um, I won't get into all of them, but we've got quite a menagerie of, uh, of people here. So get some rest, girly. We'll see you uh, next time you're available. All right. So. All right, I promised you guys that we would do some running around. I don't have a lot of 22 ammo, so I need to go find some. Um, and, oh, shit. Hold it. I almost forgot. I got to finish unloading these crates. God dang it. I got so excited because Anna came in. You guys, I can't, you can't blame me. You can't blame me. Uh -uh. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, she used to be a large streamer. I hope I can say this, Anna. I hope, and she got out of it for a while, and then, um, and then she got back into it. So uh, she's just starting over again. So you guys definitely, uh, I encourage you to support her uh, as much as you can. Okay, now. Let me get this miscellaneous number one dragged over here. And was it miscellaneous number two? Yep. I will tell you, I should not have put my bed there. Something about my bed conflicts with that, and I don't want to spend the time to make another one. Actually, if I make another one, it's going to be up on top. I'm actually going to put a bed up on top. <coughs> All right. Now, let's go. I'm just going to start throwing this shit in there. This is what's so good about not sorting. I am not OCD, ADHD, whatever you want to call in this respect. Because I don't want to sort this shit, and I'm not going to sort this shit. I'll, if I want to look for a purple dildo, I'll go look for it in the wardrobe. And just spot it. Know what I'm saying? Okay, there's two screwdrivers. Yeah, I'll leave some stuff back here. Because short of my base blowing up, uh, if I die horribly like I did again last night, um, then uh, I'm going to have enough to fully kit myself out. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you guys, look... Uh, Anna didn't ask me to do this, but I'm going to. Look for... Um, her video on YouTube. Um, shit, I think it's under the same name. I think it's under Let Us Game. But um, look for that on YouTube. She's just got one video up last I saw, unless she's put some more up. I haven't gotten any notifications. 
but she is also an amazing singer. She's a very, very good singer. Ah, uh, hey, Patrick. Patrick, we got so Does many. Does Barry stories. Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? No, he doesn't. And by the way, Barry Manilow would not wear camo, I don't think. But thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so funny. And, guys, I put these sound bites up. Ooh, more 22 ammo. Let's go. Now that gives me, like, 46 rounds. All right. I put these sound sound bites up because they're funny to me. But hopefully you will like them as well. Some of them, I don't know, like maybe <clears throat> Dale singing the dirty song aren't as funny to some of you. But I feel like if you've stayed with me for this long, you're probably not going to be overly offended at just about anything that I might come up with. <clears throat> uh, all right. You'll have to make yourself a uh, character crawler you'll have to make yourself a character and my recommendation is if you're going to play by yourself max out your engineering as in your intelligence five out of five and make maximum which is advanced engineering uh hey demon creature is scumbag scumbag the command scumbag <clears throat> Arlie Ermy, man, he was awesome. Uh oh, I gotta allow that. I think it's scumbag. You might are you on timeout? Hold on, let me try let me see. You little scumbag! Huh. Oh, it was checked by Automod. <laughs> Automod got you in trouble. Yep. Uh, guys, as long as you're not derogatory towards one another, I'm going to allow most naughty words and shit. Like somebody said shit something earlier. Well, I've got a command. Bullshit, you know. It's one of my favorites. I was just bullshitting, and you know this, man. I love that movie. I love that movie. You know what? I I used to watch movies all the time. I don't know what I've been doing with myself the last three or four months. I, I, I can't figure it out. I just haven't taken as much time lately to to watch movies. I don't I don't know what I don't know what caused that. It's weird. It's just weird. Uh, wouldn't trade it. Guys, I'm having so much fun. There's times even when I'm dragging ass and I feel like shit. I'm, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Oh, and yesterday's stream, amazing. Amazing. <clears throat> Casual foo coming in with the host. 80 something people she brought. My goodness. But hey. <laughs> Is, is that wrong that I was watching her earlier and she didn't know it, right? <clears throat> but all joking aside, I don't care if somebody brings me one or 1,000. 1,000 would be nice, so go ahead and hook that up. Um, I, I'm happy that you're here. And I said this. You guys can go back. I've recorded almost every single minute of my gameplay since I started this and posted it all. By the way, we're on number 282 that I posted and I had to. I am so sorry, guys. I had to do it. Holy shit, that chainsaw is not going to fit. Oh, fucking hell. All right, maybe we'll leave the chainsaw in there. I had to do it. I had to get rid of uh, I get knocked down the chumba wumba tub thumping. I had to get rid of that. And I had to get rid of Monty Python's uh, flying circus music because uh, I got a copyright claim for both of those. It wasn't a strike. I just had to remove that portion of the audio that that had it. So um, I will not. I mean, see, you can do it. You can do it on Twitch. 
playing the secular music, you know, the commercially available music, but you cannot do it on YouTube. YouTube is very strict about that. And, and I got to tell you something, guys. I think these wardrobes are full. I'm going to have to build another one. Fucking hell. Wardrobe number two. I've got all the stuff outside. Yeah, we're full. I'll build one more. I, gotta, I, I have to do it. And I'm not going through what I went through last night in case <clears throat> I die horribly. It won't take me long. It will not take me long. Because we did this earlier already, right? We got this. We got this. Okay. All right, I need uh, some more nails and shit. And let's just open that up. And some scrap. Let's see what we got here. Okay, there's one. There's two, there's three, there's four. I'll just take that. Did that go? Yep. That'll take care of that. Let's take care of this scrap. And I need the toolbox. And then we'll just we'll just start putting the stuff in there. This is going to happen. There's the toolbox. There's the bolts. All right, I need six planks and three more and three more uh, nuts and bolts. We're gonna be just fine, you guys. Everyone remain calm. We got this shit. <clears throat> All right, I've got the nails right now, so let's just do it. Let's just do it. All right, let's take out. Two, three, and we'll put this back in here. <clears throat> One, two, three, and then the planks are right outside, guys. Well, actually, there might be in the wardrobe number eight. There's a plank. <clears throat> Put that in the hands. Do I have any more? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What do we need? One, two, three, four, five. You mean you're gonna make me? You're gonna make me go outside and get one more plank, aren't you? Aren't you? Yep, I'm going to have to go outside and get one more plank. We got this, though. It's easy. We got this. Look, that didn't take long at all. We almost, we almost done. How about that? You like that? Well, I should have a padlock here. Let's go ahead and put this little guy on. All right, this is number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Ooh, it's a little sideways. Ugh. Be nice if I could do some decent work, wouldn't it? Let's uh, set name. We'll call this Wardrobe Nine. It's not going to be that pretty, but by God, it's functional. All right, let's do this. All right, I should be able to get miscellaneous one. And is everything out of miscellaneous one? Nope. Wardrobe nine. There we go. All right. Pin up poster and some deer wall. Oh, I know it, right? Yep. Uh, well, hey, crawler, here's what I'm going to tell you. You probably already made your character. Sorry, I got sidetracked. But I made my guy have a small penis so that his intelligence would go up. I wanted five intelligence and almost five strength. So I've got the starter pack, so you get a couple extra inches on your penis. So I, I moved his penis down to make the strength go up. So if you'll, oh, oh, when I made the guy, when I made the guy, now I've got a girl. And it's, it's her breasts that are larger, I thank you. Uh, intelligence modifier. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that one. Any, uh, yes. 
Yes, so if you haven't made your character yet, turn his turn his penis size down. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. Turn his penis size down, and uh, it'll make him smarter. I'll, I'll show you what I put my girl on. I put her on high strength and high intelligence. That's what I was going for. Where's wardrobe eight? All right. Uh, give me just a second while I finish putting this stuff in. That rope is really good because you can tie people up in this game now. They have to surrender and then you can tie them up. I did a uh, YouTube video on that called This Is Not BDSM pretty tied up pretty tied up right now but yeah my scum shots you guys are much shorter than three hours six hours nine hours at a time so if you feel like it please go over and subscribe of course to my YouTube channel and then you'll be notified every time I put up new content including the scum shots Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, we're getting closer. Everyone remain calm here, crawler. I'll be with you in just a second. I'm halfway done of this crate. <sighs> the idea is if, if you want to be able to build things, um, you really should have the advanced uh, engineering and how you get advanced engineering is by having uh, a higher intelligence okay oh here we go let's put that in there I got two gold locks here baby uh, so all right and I got the stripper boots right now I'm, I'm leaving this in here. Actually, I'm going to put this in the wardrobe, and I'll take this 100 out of 100. I crash a lot, guys. I crash a lot, so you should be prepared that, um, yeah, that uh, I need to use the car repair kit. Matter of fact, i got to search through these wardrobes and find the small car, re uh, the tire repair kit. So... I don't remember how many points I had for intelligence, but it was a lot. Like 10, I think. Um, yes. Yes. Right. Okay, great. Great. Excellent. Excellent. That's what you want. You want a very small penis, just so you know. And I want a tire repair kit. Hold on. You want a small penis, and I want a tire repair kit. Uh, and your guy's kind of gonna be heavy set as well. There's a tire repair kit. Hold on. I well, don't want to take the big one, but I'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's go in here to my metabolism. My metabolism for strength is a 4.47 out of five, and I dumped the points into rifles and melee weapons. Constitution is a 2.45 out of 5, so that's low, but my endurance is high. It's 69% of a million. Running, you just run. Just run, and you'll get running skill. Dexterity is 3.4 out of 5, and the points in that are in driving. I'm at 76% of 1 million. I've driven a lot. Um, and then in intelligence, um, I am at 3% of 10 million. So that's where a lot of my points are. And also my survival skill is at 12% uh, of 1 million. But basically, uh, I put everything that I could at least basic so that you're not at a total detriment. 
Matter of fact, I don't think I have anything out of 10,000. Nope. All my stuff is at least out of 100,000. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, let's go. Let's go pull this stuff out. Pull these crates out. There's miscellaneous uh, number one and number two. And if you're brand new, and I think a couple of you are, you can fit four advanced crates. You can fit four advanced crates into your inventory in the truck. And I put a couple re uh, repair kits in here, tire repair kit, uh, weapon cleaning kit sometimes, car repair kits for sure. Some odds and ends. Man, that M16. I better take that M16 in the house. I'm taking the M16 in the house. And these AK-15 mags. Ah, uh, that's the M16 that Anna got me. The very first time we played together. How nice. And I'm going to take these white ghillie boots in there. Because they are quite rare. Oh my god, how many tire repair kits do you think you need, sir? I did all that work taking that tire repair kit in there, and I've got two more out in the truck. Let's just go ahead and put this in the wardrobe. Let's go ahead and put this in the wardrobe. I'll fix it up later. Tire repair kits. Uh, the stuff that's kind of rare, yeah, I'm putting it in there. I will tell you one thing about that I don't like about this 185 rifle is you do have to repair it, or repair it fairly frequently and you need to um, clean it fairly, uh, repair it, clean it, and you have to reload it uh, every four shots. So keep that in mind, every four shots. All right. I've got room for probably two or three. Mr. Cyanide Jello, welcome, welcome. Huh. Does that mean you are toxic? <sighs> I would hope not. I would hope not. <sighs> All right, we need to charge up the battery here. And we're going to go see if there are any drops close by because I am itching. Itching for a drop and itching to kill some zombies. <clears throat> Whoa. And itch, itching to crash into that rock. All right, here we go. Let's see, what do we got going on here? Uh, there's a drop over there on the east coast. Let's go for that. Uh, oh, well, this is the place to be. This is the place to be. Welcome. Um, and keep in mind, usually within 24 hours or less, I will post all my videos on my YouTube channel. So if you would like, it's this exact same name over on YouTube. Jumpsuit Sniper, all one word, all together, all lowercase. Go over there and give me a follow, or excuse me, a subscribe, why don't you? And then you'll be notified whenever I post new content. I generally post the entire video from start to finish uh, every day, and that's usually two, three-hour videos. I stop and take a break, uh, and then I do another one. And also I put up, uh, I think it is for the lock picking. Yep. I put, <clears throat> yep, for lock picking. Because, see, what I'm about to do is I'm about to go pick a cargo drop, and you need that. Let's see, where is this? 
There is a tower right here. All right, for you new guys, unless you are being chased by a horde of zombies and three bears and a partridge in a pear tree, never pass by one of these hunting stands unless you're oppressed for time. There's so much good stuff you can find up in these hunting stands. Bows, uh, weapons, arrows, baseball bat. That's, look, hunting scope that goes on this 22 rifle, and they're fairly rare. I just scored that because I stopped at the hunting stand. All right. Now, we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to move some stuff around. Uh, yep. Depends on what server you play on, but on the three servers that I play on, you will you will literally have to tell people no if you don't want a starter kit because we will take you we will take you and get you kitted out that's not a joke that's 100% legit now the last the damn 2.0 that I play on uh they asked me and I'd earned so many starter kits it's not even funny um because they have a refer a friend program if you refer a friend, Lucky Harm, I, I haven't seen that one. If you refer a friend on the dam, you get a weapon kit of your choice. Any weapon in the entire game. You want an MK-18? You got it. You want a Barrett? You got it. That's how serious they are about having people come in and play on that server. <clears throat> no money. Just refer a friend. Oh, well, speaking of the money... If you find the paper money in this game, yes, you do. I bet I bet you're a smoker and you're an arsonist. How am I doing? <laughs> I bet you're a smoker and an arsonist. So, whoop, whoop. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw up the servers that we play on. Now, I would recommend that you go in to the damn 2.0. These are the servers we play on. I'm on Astroth right now. Tomorrow night, I'll be on the dam. The night after that, I'll be on Mankind's Betrayal. Uh, just remember, you're going to be looking for the dam 2.0. Just like that. That's what you're going to be looking for. <clears throat> and we especially cater to new to intermediate players. You don't have to start out playing PvP and worried about getting clapped, stepping out of your back door is what I usually say to people, okay? If you like PvP, all right, yep, you can do the t t tutorial. If you've played a lot, you may not want to go through the whole t tutorial, but you certainly can. You absolutely can. All right, let's see here. Uh, which one of these damn bridges is out? One of them damn bridges is out. I'm hoping it's the top one. We're going to go southeast. If, I'm going to be pissed if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be mad. <clears throat> uh, actually, it's like Rust, Daisy, Tarkov, kind of all. Oh, 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 cargo drop. Where are we at? Oh my God, it's right on the way. We're doing it. I swear you can tell me whatever you want that it doesn't happen. I swear this game spawns cargo drops when it detects player activity. You ask me, why do I live up in the snow? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad I asked that. I live up in the snow because when we first started, it was almost impossible to get gas and get cargo drops without people um, already beating you to them because there's so many people on this server, like 50 at just about any given time, okay? So what I said is I'm going to go someplace where most people don't want to go. So that's why I came up here. Um, this game, you know, this game is not bad. Oh, shit, I almost went flying down through there. Oh, that could have been bad. Whoa. Please tell me, is this the one with the bridge out? I think this one. And that stump, that fucking stump right there in the road pisses me off. 
Alright, it's on the other side. Please don't let this bridge be out. Please don't let this bridge be out. Yep, the bridge is out. <sighs> okay. Now, what makes the most sense? I think I'll go back up and come back down, I guess. No. No. At 25 seconds, it unlocks. And at zero seconds, it blows up. Yeah, about that. I hate that stump right there. Somebody is a real prick in the development team with that stump there. I can assure you. Alright, let's see. I want to go up and around. I want to go up and around. Yeah, this, um, this game is awesome. And, uh... I've said this many times, Fallout 4 used to be my favorite game, and now it's this. Yeah, it does, that's right, it does unlock your demise. For sure, for sure it does. But it's a great game. Like I said, I still like the, the building better off of Fallout 4, but I like, I like the crafting on this. It's it's really pretty good and I'll show you that here in a minute let me grab a couple drops let me get a couple drops under my belt I've been going three and a half hours without getting a cargo drop and I'm, I'm having withdrawal where is that huh holy shit don't it? oh wait a minute how am I gonna get that Well, that's interesting. Now I gotta push this. I, I for sure got distracted. I for sure got distracted. Are you guys seeing this? I bet a lot of people aren't gonna be grabbing that one. Here's the problem. I can swim over there. This is the island that you can... This is an actual island. I think it's not a peninsula. I think this is the only way you can get there is uh, by boat or you can swim. The problem is once I fill up the backpack with loot, you'll sink going across the, the bottom. What the hell? I'm going to go back up there for a minute. I'll go back up there for a minute, but I think you can't get to this unless you have a boat. Wow, that's the first That's the first one I've seen up here in the snow. I think I saw one down by Z3 where it landed on an island. I could. I'm not going to. Oh, I might... I don't think I can make it, dude. I don't think I can make it. We'll go up here from the bridge, but I don't think I can make it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> right. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I called her up. She gave me a bunch of crap about me not listening to her enough or something. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. <clears throat> that sounds right. Let's see here. Uh, guys, I can't get there without a boat. We thought about building a base there on the other on one of the other servers that I play on. Well, maybe we should go look for that other cargo drop, perhaps. Think about it. Wouldn't you be pissed if you went to go get a cargo drop? You built a raft to go across on, and then... <laughs> it blew up right when you got there. Yep. All right, let's just try to go for this one. And I may not get this one either. But we're going to go for it. I 
and I do like running down the uh, east wall. I do like running across the north wall. So far, it's been pretty good. Uh, there are some... Somebody asked about um, the bolt-action sniper rifles. I like those. But I still prefer... I still prefer my AK. But right now, all I got as far as a knife goes is I've got the Bushman and I've got the 22 rifle and the uh, bow and arrow. And I will tell you, I'm naked without, I feel kind of naked without the uh, katana. Katana, best, best weapon in the entire game. I'll say it till the cows come home. If I could only have one weapon in this game, I would start with the katana. The metal sword is not bad. Six minutes. All right, here we go. You'll notice my character has the gloves on. On this server, not so you'd notice though. Not, uh, I'm on. I'm a little, a little uh, rusty. Ooh, there's a UMP forty-five. Son of a bitch, I forgot to empty the stuff out. God dang it. On this server, it seems like I can pick locks better with the, with the leather gloves on for whatever reason. You know what? Before we get into any more trouble right now, this is such good loot. I'm taking that car repair kit. Um, and let's see. I will put this gun right here. The MP45, we are going right out right now to the truck to put the stuff in. I'm not going to try to have a repeat of yesterday if I can help it. I got wrecked, son. All right. Ah, damn it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I do have to take one of these out. And we'll just start throwing stuff in there. ACOG. Uh, damn it. I don't have a lot of time. So. <clears throat> five minutes. I am I am definitely gun shy. Definitely gun shy from yesterday. Alright. Now I need to make some more bobby pins. Into lock picks. Actually, I'll, I'll do these. I've seen guys put them in there quick access. It just doesn't seem to work for me. I, I'm just not doing something right. So I take them out individually and then I come up here, look for the pumpkins. And then I do do this from the crafting menu because it is faster. Hello, Craig. Yes. Yes, Craig, you are correct, sir. I just, yeah, I tell you what, it really took a lot out of me. I don't want to repeat that. Those who don't learn from history are destined to repeat it, are they not? Okay. Boom shakalaka! Oh, I'll take those. Indeed I will. Come on, pick it. Oh, that worthless bottle of booze. I have not found a gun yet, so. Oh, yeah, I did. The gun pa uh, kit would be good, wouldn't it? I'll take that food. We'll take the food. The bread is the most important, then the chocolate. Uh. Then it's a toss-up between the MREs. I'll take another soda. We're going to get my ass up, out of here here in about a minute. Come on. Ever since these updates in 0 0.5, it seems like it's tougher. I'll take those gold locks. Indeed. 
Uh, I think that's it. And we've got two and a half minutes to spare, Craig. Two and a half minutes to spare, Craig. I'm putting these in there. I'll put those in there. That's right, sir. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and pack up and get the hell out of here. <clears throat> it's very traumatic when you blow up. <clears throat> it's very traumatic. Matter of fact, uh, it seems like it may just be an optical illusion, but that the range of where you die. Oh, hello. Hello, my little crackheads. If I can do, well, I think we may have found ourselves a horde. If that one does not activate on me, I'll get out with the bow and arrow. I think I'm good. All right, let's do this. They can, ever since 0 0.5, they can activate so far away, and, the, and they're such pricks, the mechs are. All right, go first person. Here we go. Let's see how we do. That was a hit. You see it react? They react when you hit them. And she's down. All right. My sniping. Oh, damn it. Hey, I can do this. I can still do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Uh, My sniping, that's close range right there, my friends. Um, I am so spoiled. So spoiled on the katana. <clears throat> You're going to hear an explosion here in a minute. There's another crackhead here close. I can hear it. I'm not going to heal yet because I might get hit again. You see that? Okay, that one's just activated. Look at that. Center mass, all three shots. See that? But you cannot see it. You cannot see it, even from the truck sometimes. Okay, see that crackhead right there floating in the air? I probably won't be able to get her, but I'm going to try it. All right. Uh, here we go. I had a bear float in the air yesterday, and I couldn't get it. Oh, I did get it. Come here, you little crackhead. Look at that. How cool is that? Hello. You're all right. Hey, Kingy. Hello. Look at this. I was showing everybody how I killed these crackheads. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. I want my arrows back immediately. All right. That's the most important thing. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to range the distance to the truck. Well, there's another one. All right. Let's range. I imagine it's 60 meters. 55. I'll say 54. All right. Yep. That was just off the top of my head. All right. 54, I'll take that. Let's range it again, just in case my, I'm off a little bit. 54 it is. All right. So, uh, let's go back to the stance here. And I am going to put the gun up, and I'm going to put the knife in her hands. And I need to fix this knife up as well. Uh, how much grinding stone do I have? Uh, 20. That'll take her up to 89. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and do it. Well, wait a minute. We can go down and... Oh, that sounded bad. Oh, look! It despawned, you bastard. See that? You gotta get them before they despawn. See what I said about the arrows? This fucking game. 
All right, now I shot her. Or this is a dude, okay? There is, there's my arrow. Oh, you bastard, you. You can almost always get bolts. You want to pick up the bolts and thread. Um, look, look, the body despawned. The body despawned. I, there's another one here. Now, see, this game is squirrely. I hit her twice. I want my arrows back quickly, quickly. All right. Now we'll search. And I should be able to... Um, oh, is there another arrow? I want... Oh, that's a knife. I want the bolts. And I'll chop. So, my rule of thumb is on this game... I did have another arrow. Wow. Okay. My rule of thumb on this game is that you should be in line of sight whenever you can. And you go directly to that target that you've shot and do whatever you need to do. If you need to chop it, search it, then chop it, I guess. You do whatever you need to do because the game will render them out sometimes as you just saw i was standing there pissed me off so bad i killed three horses i actually i actually made a clip of it uh, where i was in a hunting stand one of the few times that i've actually been in a hunting stand i shot a horse with a 357 actually look at that gone 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 look to run away Gone. Oh, there they are. There you are, my friend. Look, you walk away, gone. So you better make the most of it while you can see them. Let's try a headshot. That is not a headshot, but it was a shot. One in the front, one in the back. I can tell you in real life he would be dead. <clears throat> The headshots are a little tricky on this game, but I'm working on my archery skills, so let me uh, go up here, and I will put the knife in the hand for sure. And then I'm going to put it in quick access as well. That is one thing I do want in quick access. Oh, there's another. Oh, we've got a little bit of a horde here. All right, you little crackhead. The Bushman is not to be trifled with, and I realize I'm still, still bleeding. But look at the arrows. See that? You want your arrows back? Use carbon arrows whenever you can. Buddy walking with a repair kit, but he's a whole sector away. Well, we might be able to help with that. That looks like some thread. Is that some thread? If that's some thread, we're going to take care of this in a minute. Indeed. Oh, it's a bandage. I'll take that arrow. We'll craft another bone needle. And we'll pick us up some zombie skin here in about a minute. Zombie skin is good for crafting. Holsters. We'll take that emergency bandage. And I should try to wash that at some point. Okay. Again, if you can. See, they're not out of your sight yet. If you can, search these crackheads and chop them. Okay, we got some nails out of that. And we're going to go ahead and chop her. And the clothes you get from the zombies are ass. If you don't have anything else, if you don't have anything else, then um, wear the zombie clothes. All right. But you can only repair them to 50%. So keep that in mind. All right. Nothing there. Nothing good. Your survival and awareness skills will increase. Um, that means you don't have... I think... 
uh, oh, no, 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 not when you're crafting. It means that you have selected that item. For example, let's say you find a can of ravioli, which in this game is very good for you, by the way. Let's say you find a can of ravioli, and you want to open it. Well, you just can't open it. You can't just tell it to open. That doesn't work that way. You have to have a knife or a can opener. And, well, with a can opener, maybe. But you click on that and click on the can and then right-click back on it. Click on your knife, click on the can, and then right-click back. And then it'll give you the option to open. Pretty neat, huh? I'm going to drop some of these bobby pins. Just, ooh, there's a wolf. There's a wolf in the vicinity. I don't like it. None. The wolves have, have gotten extremely ferocious in, on this game. Extremely ferocious. And you can tell by the way that they howl if it's just a sound effect or if it's actually a real wolf. All right. Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Because this is a pickup truck, I would be able to get in the back of the pickup truck. So I'm going to pull these crates out. I'll pull. Hear that zombie? That zombie is activated. It may have already activated on me. But um, I could, you could pull the crates out in real life. You could pull the crates out of the back of a pickup truck. Sure you could. So that's what I'm doing. All right, and I'm going to eat this candy bar while we're at it. So, yeah, when something is box red, it's not bad. Now, if you're crafting and it has the red lines through it, that means you don't have any of the materials to make it. If it's grayed through, that means you don't have the skill to make it. And the way you get skill in this game is by building stuff. You do by doing. If you want running skill, then you need to run. If you want crafting skill, then you need to craft. If you want driving skill, then you need to drive. With me? Okay. Now, I am going to go ahead and repair this. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to do it in the town. I'm going to do it in town. I said I was going to do it. No, I'm not. And I'll, I'll show you why here in a minute. We'll do this. What's her metabolism like? She needs carbs and protein. Okay. Let's eat two more bread. And two more steak. And right now, cooking in this game is such a huge pain in the ass right now. It's horrible. I, I just eat everything raw. I just eat everything raw. Okay, see, I put that bread back. It disappeared. Drop something on it. It reappears. Isn't that crazy? We learned that the hard way. I think I heard something. Hold on a second. Okay, so we're going to eat two more protein. We've got two bread, two protein, and you and you got to give it a little bit. It's just like eating in real life. It doesn't automatically put your stuff up. I'm at 300% water, which actually you can get up to 7,000 water, believe it or not, and not have it give you, at least my character can, not have you get diarrhea. Up here, protein and carbs, we just took care of that. She is going to need some more sugar here in a minute. Uh, vitamin E, I may be covering that up. You guys can't see it. And B5. Well, we're going to go get these mushrooms uh, for the B5. Or the, uh, shit, those cucumbers, I think. I know where to get those. And E is sunflower seeds. And we should be good. So we can we can take care of all this in one shot. Dang it, did that zombie despawn? Let me, let me look at the night vision here. Wow, that's washed out. We're not doing that. It's a winter wonderland. That zombie that was up there that I was going to shoot despawned or rendered out, whatever you want to call it. They're up here. I just can't see them. So 
let's let's go a little further in here and see if we can run them down. Oh, oh, oh look what I did. Holy shit, Craig. Did you see that? I almost drove off without a crate again. Hmm, that's something I never do, right? Holy shit. Let me put this mag here, and I'll put this uh, 22 ammunition in here as well. And actually, this 9mm, that's going in the truck. I'm not dealing with that anymore. I've got to clear up some more room. I'm carrying... See, hear that? I don't know if you guys just heard that. I'm carrying so much stuff, I really need to clean some stuff out of the backpack. All right. Let, so there's zombies close by. I just can't see them. Sorry if you guys see the flash there. I am super sorry. But uh, this fucking game. Oh, my God. Sorry, I didn't mean it. There, there's a crackhead right there. And there's a wolf close by as well. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Right, right, that's right. I knew I saw this one. I won't be able to get out without getting hit. So we'll just run him over. I think it's actually female, but she growls. I will turn the headlights on, though. So you got, so you following along at home. Can see it. Ooh, multiple ones. No beepers, please. Explosive damage is on. Vehicle damage is on. Um. All the damages are on. Mechs are here. Big Shirley. Was that a beeper? Where's Big Shirley at? Did Big Shirley despawn already? All right, we'll hack up one. Uh -uh. Normally, I like to carry the katana and a bow, katana, whatever. Jesus, that's loud. The reason we're doing this uh, the way this way is because I want the optic on the rifle so I can tell how, mu how much the yardage is. We'll take the nails here. And we'll go ahead and chop her up. Anything good? Nothing. I'll take the skin, I guess. And we'll craft one bone meal. Remember to pick up your stuff after you've crafted it. It does you no good when you leave it on the ground behind you. Just like I almost left that crate. It does you no good. Why is my stuff wet? That's bullshit. It's just snowing. It shouldn't be wet. Oh, and also, when you're driving a vehicle, when you get lucky enough to have one, make sure you hit W to go forward. Because when you go in reverse, with the S is in Sam key, it leaves your taillights on. It'll run your, run your uh, battery down. All right. Let's just go straight down here. I need to go to this town anyway. I need to... Sharpen this knife. We've got we've got work to do. And there seems to be quite a quite a few uh, animals up in here as well. And before you even ask, on this server, nighttime seems to last for fucking ever. Uh, but it's really like at least an hour in real time. show you guys some stuff on uh, we're gonna sharpen this knife and we'll probably go shoot some zombies with the 22 
trying to think what else what else were we gonna do oh I can shoot we can shoot them with bow and arrow too the problem is if they despawn with the arrows in them usually you lose the arrows too with the 22 we don't care we're shooting bullets at them so you want to be wow that was right we want to be fairly fairly close we want to be fairly close so funny I see it flash over here on my chase computer I see it flash up here on my twitch monitor I, oh, I see it first on my screen then I see it go uh, over here then up there god <laughs> oh my goodness okay just flashed here which one's it gonna go on next it actually goes here then there very close. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go down here and take the next left. And then we'll shoot back across. I, w I didn't pay attention where it said that next drop was going to be. And by the way, when you guys see these cargo drops, they're not. Oh, an MRE burger. How do I eat it? You, are you joking, or you really don't know? You just just uh, right-click on it and tell it to eat or eat all. It's just eat. I think I think you sit you eat it all in one sitting. Do not eat more than two bread at a time. And the, most characters can't eat anything more than two of that loaf of bread at any time, or you'll throw up. I don't recommend drinking more than five helpings of water. Uh, somebody told me the other day they made it to seven. They were able to eat seven. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty, even in the rain. Eat it. Don't worry about it. Eat it. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter right now. At least for my character, it doesn't. I eat some of the nastiest rotten bananas you could ever find. I eat nasty meat. The only thing that is if you try to cook steaks on the stove or wherever and you are not successful, they will get rotten. And I think you just have to throw them away. That's why I eat everything raw. In real life, most likely, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, but most likely the, the food is actually better for you when it's raw, nutrition-wise. Now, because so many people don't know or have mishandled food and gotten sick from it, the liability of it is that the USDA tells people you have to cook meat to an internal temperature of blah, 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 blah. You can do it with fire. You can do it with chemicals. You know, as in nitrates and nitrites. I've made a lot of beef jerky, deer jerky. I've made jerky out of all kinds of critters. Um, but anyway, I'm telling you for your own safety, you should cook, cook the meat to proper USDA guidelines, okay? Now, that being said, you can do at your own risk if you choose not to do that. My opinion is people did it for a long time without nitrates and nitrites. They did cook it. There's been, I don't know if you guys know this, but fire's been around for a while. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to, I'm going to pick all these. Come on, you, well, I think I am. Well, that was a big old bag of suck. <clears throat> Take a water, a pop, and a milk. That's it. Give me something good. I ain't got anything. Well, I did get those three gold locks earlier. See how I'm having pretty good success picking here? All right, we'll take that. I am not using the crowbar. I will pick one up, but I'm not using it. That's what got me killed. 
That's what got me killed. What well, contributed to it? I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it, my friends. Fuck that crowbar. Uh, I will take this Blackhawk crossbow set up. All right. Now you notice I dropped the Blackhawk crossbow on the ground. That will have to be dealt with because I don't have room to put it. That military helmet is ass for a PVE server, so don't even take it unless you want it for part of your outfit. It's a waste of time. Okay, rebar cutter, the gloves, and electrical stuff. You know what would be really nice? It would be a hiking backpack. Let's try for that. Nope, no hiking backpack. Okay. Let's see, I can take these gloves. Uh, I can take the electrical, I think. And I can take some of the crossbow bolts. And that is it. So let's quickly, what do I got about five minutes? Quickly, that is beautiful all over there. Look at that, isn't that neat? Um, let's quickly dump some of this stuff in here. Okay, here we go. And let's put the skin in there. That toolkit is pissing me, or that repair kit is pissing me off like nobody's business. All these screwdrivers. Put the knife up here. Put the water up there. And... Crowbar. Uh, yeah, that's good. If I'd gotten another hiking back backpack, I could actually have filled the hiking backpack up, put it in my hands, and then walked out. All right, let's go back through here. Um, I will take this military quiver for sure. I will take that. We should be able to put the rebar cutter. I'll take it just pretty much for spite. And that should do it. Uh, crowbar can kiss my ass. Crowbars are useful. You can use them to smash to make stone arrowheads. Uh, you can use them to open up the containers, but you need a lot of time on here. They take 45 seconds to a minute per compartment to open up off of a cargo drop. And for somebody that has already picked locks like I do normally, it's a pain in the ass. It really is. Okay, now let's go. Let's put this in the truck. Oh, wait a minute. How about we put, put it in that container? Instead of carrying this Blackhawk crossbow around for a while. How about that? Let's do that. Alright, we are in good shape. And uh, I want to check chat here real quick. Uh, okay, Ferreth is a really helpful guy. And broke down at the gas station. Nobody won't go to Ferret. I car, where are you now? What do you need? Uh, I've done that before. Uh... Engineering is done. It's can't repair anything. Create new care. Survival and stealth. Uh, any other airport you used to come and help? I have to restart my laptop. <coughs> I'm going to put it in here. Does anyone still need help? Or F E R E R. I'll put at Ferreth. F E R E T H. 84 do you have no. <clears throat> okay one thing you'll find different very different um, in my opinion from what I've seen with the uh, PvP compared to PvE is everybody's trying to kill everybody on PvP. 
I know that's an exaggeration. But on PvE, everybody's trying to help everybody. Theoretically. Now, this would be a good spot for a horde to spawn. This open area like this. And I've noticed here lately, there's a lot of drops spawning within pretty close proximity to one another. What I tell you. What I tell you. What's up, my dude? As long as I don't hear beep, 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 I'm, I'm gonna be okay. Look at that. There's a horde here. There is a horde here. And in the dark, it's tough. Okay, what I've noticed is that the hordes spawn more frequently. This guy's tough. Gotta run over him like four times. The spore, the spores, the, <laughs> the spores horde, the hordes spawn more frequently in open areas compared to the heavily wooded areas. And there's a 12 and a half percent chance that uh, there'll be a beeper here. No, I didn't see it. Now I'm gonna try this. I think it's gonna be too bright though. Ah, not bad. We'll turn the head. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Now my headlights are off and I'm just using strictly night vision. There may be a game glitch that shows that. This actually looks really good. Way better. Way better than up there earlier. This is a small horde. But the hordes have a, it seems like they have a higher chance of spawning or it's just coincidence when you're more out in the open. And I have gotten several drops from this area in the past. And I can tell you it's over 50%. As long as you don't have beepers, this is the best way to do it. Just drive around and kill them. Drive around and run them over. Because you don't want one snuggling up with you while you're trying to pick. Look at them. While you're trying to pick a drop. Now, um... If it wasn't for the fact that I want to pick this drop, I would already be sitting on top of the truck picking them off one by one with the 22 rifle. And for those of you who haven't seen the 22 rifle in action, hopefully you will here in a little bit, in a few minutes. Man, there, see this? Uh, these heavies, these heavies are really something. You got to run them over like four times. And Big Shirley and Big Stan, you got to hit them a few times. Huh. These little skinny crackheads, they go down pretty fast. Big Shirley, Big Stan, and the heavies, the riot shield cops, and the military uh, soldiers in the in the heavy gear. I call them the heavies. Like let's see, like this this is Big Shirley right here. There's a heavy to the right. Man, there's another one over here in the trees. See him? God. When they thump like that, that's a nice, like like thumping a ripe melon kind of thing. Usually they go down with one hit. Those heavies are tougher. Anybody left that I didn't kill? Anyone? Oh, there's one. Here's a heavy. Two heavies. They're pretty resilient. Huh. And, hey, and usually when you hit them, and you can run them over even with an ATV, but they can hit you on the ATV. Tractor? They can't, they can't do nothing to a tractor. Unless it's a beeper. If it's a beeper, all bets are off. But a uh, tractor is so loud and so annoying. God. 
the uh, SUVs are actually, I'm told, a little bit faster than the pickup truck. The pickup truck is definitely sexier. Um, the cop car, you can use the siren on it. Okay, I think he's dead now. That should be about the end of him. Alright, let me go see. I'm going to turn my headlights back on. If you're using night vision, I found out the hard way. If you've got night vision on and you go to get into the drop, you can't see. You can't see the fucking clock in there as to how much time's left. So keep that in mind. 18 minutes, 30. Excellent, excellent. We got this. I was hoping this was a freshie. Look at that. I should have had it on the first time. All right. The bread, most important. Then the chocolate bars. Then at least grab yourself two MREs. I'm going to grab all three of them. The sodas are good because you can just drink them all at one time. And not have to drink and drink and drink. And, you know, like the 20 out of 20, you can carry more. All right. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <clears throat> I was looking for a, si a sound bite from Weird Al's UHF where it says, what's in the box? Nothing, absolutely nothing. All right, I'm leaving the drill and the gloves. I know, it seems bad, but I'm doing it. Look at that, boom! I'm telling you, this server, this server I've done very well on. All right, let's uh, organize some stuff a little bit better here. And the battery. Uh, one other thing. Uh, all right, I'll do that. One other thing that the crowbar is good for is smashing the battery and getting the lead plate out of it. Look at the, I used up all those bobby pins. Thank you, Kingy. Uh, now drop and give me 25. There's so many great um, quotes, sound bites on there. There's so many good ones. Okay, here, let's pick this lock. That one should have got it, you bitch. There we go. Okay, ooh. Is that uh, 1887? I'll take the ammo, though. I hate to leave a shotgun behind, but I've already got more than I need. And I, I'm not a big fan of the shotgun just because they're so fucking loud. All right. I guess I'll take the gloves because I can fit them. And I'll take the shotgun because I'm not coming back. We'll just carry this to the truck. Okay, look for zombies in case I missed one. Jump up on top. And then do the storage. The zombies can still hit you, but the animals can't. Currently, that I'm aware of. The zombies can, oh, they'll jump right up. They'll jump right up on top of here with you. And give you a big old kiss on the face, but the, uh, the animals don't. Currently. All right, I want some of that chocolate and the beef stew. I want the tuna salad, cheeseburger MRE. Oh, look at this. We've got somebody here. Hmm. Oh, now that person was very etiquette. Uh, I've had problems with people before coming up. And just walking right in the drop while I'm trying to loot pissed me off. But um, there's actually some stuff that I left behind that they could have got. <clears throat> okay, let's go try to find some cucumbers, shall we? How about that? You still want to show me your cucumber? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There was something else I was looking for. What's assume? I forget what assume was. Assume 
the position. Oh, that's what it was. Right. Right. Okay. Now, there's one coming in here in C0. That actually would be eh, not too far from where we are. Now, that other person may be going for that drop. So let's just go straight south. We'll go down here to where I call the candy corn town. Uh, we're going to repair that knife. Um, there'll be some zombies down here to shoot. There could be some wild animals down here to shoot. Um, this is a safe area. If it has a green circle around it, see this one here and that one there and that one there. Um, they are safe zones. This one down here in A4. Z3, you can't tell unless you're looking for it. This is Noobville on this server. This is where the admins hang out and do fame trades. And, of course, up here in the city. That's the biggest safe zone. Would I affectionately call Chicago? Uh, because it's so windy up there. It's big. It's got high-rises, skyscrapers and stuff. And then this is my house up here. If it's got an H on it, that's where you've built your last bed. Wherever your last bed is, it'll be an H on your map for home. I want to get to the point at some point actually where I quit using the map, but I'm not there yet. And especially as long as I want to continue to get cargo drops, um, I will not uh, quit using the map. And, and also it's helpful for new players. Like I say, like I'm going here to the candy corn town. This is C1. This is pad 5. Because on your numeric keypad on your computer, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, basically. So you could say, actually, it's really close. It's either east, northeast pad 5, or northwest pad 6. But it looks like a candy corn. So I call it the candy corn town. All right. Let's go to the candy corn town. Let's get let's blow this pop stand. Let's see how the night vision looks. Shall we? And just remember your batteries will run down if you leave your headlights on. We've gotten so spoiled. Most people probably uh, younger people don't even remember. Don't even remember. Uh, not having the headlights that turned turned off automatically after so long. But I can tell you, we've had several dead batteries over my lifetime because you forgot to turn your headlights off. Or had bad connection or something. Okay, so we're going to go south, and then we're going to go west. So we're going to take this next right. So I hope that person in the pickup truck went to go get that other drop. Remember what I said at the beginning of the broadcast? Or your reverse lights. Yes, that is correct, Craig. Exactly. Check out the big brain on Brad. That's right. Smart motherfucker, that's right. Metric system. Fucking metric system. You know what, Kingy? You know what's so funny about that? That was the next sound bite that I was going to play. How about that? This actually looks really good. This night vision looks really good. So if you have to have a fame trader or an admin uh, at Noobville, and you have to go to them, they will not come to you. You have to go there. You can come in from the south or you can come in from the north. Um, but you can get a katana for 500. You can get a weapon kit, a very minor weapon kit for a thousand. For example, they're not going to give you five mags and five boxes of ammo. I think it's one mag, one box of ammo. Uh, the weapon, you can either get a suppressor or a bayonet, if I remember correctly. All right, now, here's what we're going to do this. For the color... Look at this. They've done a fantastic job. They really have done a fantastic job. All right. See this? See how dark it is? We're going to roll up on these sunflowers. This is a animal spawn area, just so you know. And I may get wrecked. 
I may get wrecked in here. But the sunflowers, I need vitamin E. I need vitamin E, and the sunflowers will provide that. Sunflowers have 46% vitamin E. Look. 46% vitamin E. They've got a little bit of B5. 28% B1. But the big thing is the vitamin E. So we're going to eat that. And you'll need a couple. If you're at if you're at zero, you're going to need a couple helpings of it. Okay. I ch did I check that one already? Nope. Come on, give me some sunflowers. Now, I have seen bears spawn here. I've seen a lot of wolves spawn here. I have seen boars spawn here. But wolves are especially dangerous because they're sneaky little fuckers. Now, this server had the wolves turned down and the puppets turned down, I believe. So we're going to see how we do here. And especially with this guy having um, that fire up there next to the building. When people build in a spawn area, sometimes it interferes. Okay? Sometimes it interferes with the spawns. I'll take that one. And then these sunflower seeds will respawn the next time that there's um, a loot respawn, I believe. That gives me three of those. All right, let's go back to the truck. But just remember, this is a good spot to get your sunflower seeds. And there's a lot more of them since 0 0.5. A lot more. Let me check and see how much gas I got, too. I took two gas cans and put them back. Now, here's a little trick that I like to do. Is you can actually pull your vehicle up to the side. Make sure it's not your driver's side. Or you'll be, you'll be screwed. Pull up close to here. And I'll shut the headlights off. Shut the taillights off. And then you can get out. Make sure that you get out on the side that doesn't trap you in. You can't jump up here, or at least I haven't been able to. Oh, yeah, I fucked that up. Okay, let's try this again. I got stuck down in there. You can't jump up on top of the truck, right right on top of the cab, but you can jump up. Uh, I did do it again, for fuck's sake. Let's see. Yeah, look how good I am, guys. <laughs> there we go, finally. All right, now let's turn the night vision on. Right, I'm going to go first person. Right there. If you guys hadn't seen me do my video on this before, right there is a vehicle's a vehicle spawn. Oh, it could spawn a vehicle, but I was more going for an animal spawn point. All right. Let me charge up my night vision some more. Charge up your night vision as much as it will let you, as often as it will let you, every time you think about it. You don't want to get in a situation where you need your night vision and it is not cooperating for you. All right. I'm looking for zombies. What's probably going to happen is I'm going to activate them here in a minute when I go into the town. Unless a dude or dudette has already come in here and wiped them out. See if they activate in here. Usually there's a bunch of them, but this is a pretty popular loot area. So it's entirely possible that someone's killed them. You'll usually know it. There's a well there to the right. Oh, no, I'm not, Magna. Uh, I know better than that. Uh, not on this server. Actually, not on any of the servers.
Now, I can't remember if we took over this or not. Yep, this is ours. Miguel. All right. What happened was we, uh, we didn't come in and use the area as, as, oh, I know, as much as we should, and it despawned. It despawned our goodies. We had all kinds of stuff in here. Here's some green peas. How about some green peas? We had all the torches in here. Ooh, the vegetable oil. I want to show you guys the vegetable oil. That's good shit. Look at that. Vitamin E, 205%. Vitamin E, 205%. Everything else is ass. Okay. Well, 7% vitamin K, I guess. 205% vitamin E. So if you can't get the vegetable oil, get the sunflower seeds. All right. Now, I had built, see, we put the stuff on the windows. We just didn't touch the stuff as frequently as we should have. And so it despawned. Everything we had in here is gone. It's a good little saw. I like that little saw. We got some MMA gloves. Those are all right. Um, let me go ahead and get my knife out because a zombie can spawn up here. I used to live in this house. Okay, here's a shirt and a hat. Okay, you hear that? I've just activated. I've just activated a crackhead. They can even spawn upstairs. Creepy told me. Uh. But it's a very slight chance. But I just activated one. We'll take this padlock. And let's search. I already searched that. These crackheads. All right, let's go upstairs. I thought we one of us had a bed up here. No. Piece of pipe. All right, I'll take that piece of pipe. I'll beat that zombie to death with it here in a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to say hello. Hello, hello, hello. M-I-Q-U-E-L. Uh, one year of hiatus. Need some stuff. And you've learned the game. Stuff is welcome. Is there a new bill? Yes. There is new bill in Z3 pad 7. <clears throat> A2. B0. <clears throat> Let's see, how much time do I have? I got an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, oh no. Wait and see. Uh, instruments? You gotta search for them. In the houses, normally, I found a banjo, I found guitar. You can find a lot of harmonicas around Kingy. <clears throat> I'm talking about hungry sharks. Go in the daytime or have night vision. <clears throat> and also win uh, admin or fame trader on. But there is some free stuff there as well. Oh, you can hear it now? Yep. Yep. Isn't that freaky the first time you heard that? Oh, my God. Freaked me out. Uh, freaked me out. Okay, now... <clears throat> Let's see. 
Let's go down here and let me try to kill this crackhead. And I will go outside. We'll chop down a tree. And we will... Oh, I could window these guys. Let me see how the light is here right now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I would much prefer to have it this way. They're close. Uh, but it's pretty dark. Let's go with number three. Bushman's pretty badass. I'll tell you what, if I couldn't have the katana, I'd probably have a Bushman. Or the, or the metal sword. Where you at, fool? That's a one hit, bitch. Better get away from my window. Yeah, I knew he was out there. No thread. We got a can opener. I can go throw the can opener inside. You know what I want to see? So I can't remember if I did it on this server or not, but I think I put it crazy. Gotta have a cough drop here. Okay, now. check and see what I got here. <clears throat> Best place for night vision is cargo drop. I took two sets to Noobville, but that was last week. So I bet they are gone. The thing that keeps blowing me up. Let's go in here. I'll take this skin, I suppose. Uh, no, I won't. I'll leave it for right now. Let's go in here. And I know there's people, I, I consider them to be noobs that leave the doors open. Uh, oh, what's up? What's up? I consider them to be noobs that don't know where they've been. They don't know the map. And that's probably true. I used to leave doors open as well. But the uh, the deal is, especially if it's a spawn point, it's very irritating if you do that on purpose. Because somebody can come be somewhere else and a stinking zombie spawn. And they don't make noise now. And they run up behind you and hit you when you least expect it. Is it realistic? Yeah, probably. Is it very nice? No. No, it's not. Alright. So, now you'll notice I'm throwing this shit out on the floor. There's method to my madness. Because, I'm going to build a wardrobe in here. Alright. I got that saw. Now, this is at 89%. Alright, there's a bunch of scrap here. And what we're going to do first, though, we're going to do this. We're going to make this happen. It's absolutely going to happen. 
And we'll fill it with rags, and I'll go I'll go get a long stick here in a minute. We'll do another one while we're out here. We gotta have some place to put our shit in here. Uh, and I think... What do I think? I think I want one right here. This will be close enough. Since all of our stuff deteriorated. Despawn. All right, now, I don't know how, how well you guys can see this, but hopefully it'll lighten up here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and cut this tree down. That little handsaw is pretty good. Pretty good. You know, I say, here's what I'm going to do first. You guys should like this. So, what would you little maniacs like to do first? That's right, Kelly LeBrock. Man, she was hot back in the day, wasn't she? All right. Let's go here. I should have got the bundle here. Yeah, I did. It does not matter. Right. And I like to put the wardrobe, I guess, by this drill press right here. Probably be all right. We'll throw that down. And we'll put a wardrobe here. And uh, again, if you haven't heard me say it before, I've gone from making crates to putting wardrobes in. And the reason is because people can't steal the wardrobes. Now, if they want to be a dick about it, they can smash them, all right? But anyway, if they, if they realize that it could benefit them, they shouldn't. Okay, so let's fill that with metal scrap. It gives me four. Let's go back here. And there's also more method to my madness. Madness to my method, which you will see. Hello, do you need to pee? Already? <clears throat> All right, fine. Right here on the floor in front of God and everybody. Let's see. <laughs> nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. Ah, right, right. What's the other one? Uh, something about ass, I think. Why did somebody tell me my ass was so big? I don't know. Uh. Huh. This is the one whenever I go on a mission. This is the one you guys should be worried about. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to it. Cut some more planks up. You know what? Uh, I don't think I have a toolbox. Ah, shit. I forgot about toolbox. I need a toolbox, don't I? Well, we're going to have to have it. All right. Now we're going to need some nails and some more scrap. <clears throat> Beepers and zombies, yeah. Yeah, they can be. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to chop up we're going to chop up these zombie pants. All right? And actually I'm going to take this scrap. Where's these zombie pants? Here we go. 
And the reason we're going to cut them into the rags is because I can fire the torches with those. See this? You don't have to have clean rags. You can do it with the dirty rags. All right. And you can actually tell the torch what it wants to put in there. All right. <clears throat> See this? That's a dirty rag. Oh, we oh we need the stick, don't we? This other one's the one we need the rags for. I just want to have one in each place. We don't need a toolbox. We're gonna fill that with a dirty rag. All right. Now we've got a bundle over here. We should have a bundle of sticks. See that? Take that in the hands. Okay. What that's got? Damn it. <laughs> Wrong one. Take it in hands. All right. Hit tab, not escape. All right. What that's got. We can throw that down and we chop a tree branch. We've got the saw. Love the little saw. Works very nice. That's right, Magnum. Four of them, I think. Uh, actually, it gave me six. Wow. Yes, and a lot more sticks. Okay, so let's see if I can reach it for here to fill. I can. Now, we're going to go ahead and light this bitch up. Light the fire. We're going to fuel it with a wooden plank. Look at that. All the stuff I can use. Rag strips, dirty rags, vegetable oil, long wooden stick or wooden plank. Well, you definitely want the wooden plank. Okay. I, I think it is indicative of someone's skill. I'm not sure. But on this server, once you fire it up, this is a forever fire, okay? So I want it so I can see the drill press and I've put in other ones I put it back here put one back here put one in the middle look at all the sticks look at them all it's hilarious isn't it all right so I need to grab one of these I'll pick up a long stick and take in hands and it'll put the saw away so now B2 City Limit. I, I need to answer Fareth here because he helped me out before. We'll fill with long wooden stick and we'll go ahead and light this bitch up. You guys will see it. Um, Breath gave uh, me and, uh, was it Gecko? Gave us some locks and stuff. Uh, and a place to park. Hey, Irish. Oh, my God, Irish. Holy hell on the dad jokes. Oh, you can't do it. You're going to have to do intermission. I had to take Monty down because it got copyright claims against it. How horrible is that? We can do intermission, though. I think. I am so sorry. I hated to do it. But I can't be getting a copyright claim every time. Let's do sounds four. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I forget what this one is. 
I work at a college as a janitor. All right. Even though I feel like I'm smarter than most of the people that go there. Sometimes I see an equation written on a blackboard, like half an equation. I'll just figure it out. Here you go. This is good, Irish. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're tonight's entertainment. We'll see if it... You're going to have to get don't like to come back. I got to go grab a plank here. It'd be, wouldn't it be nice? I said this to somebody before. Wouldn't it be nice if you could take the fat, uh, the, the, the uh, limbs off of a zombie and fuel the fire with that? Wouldn't that be something? All right, let's go ahead and throw this down so I don't get some stupid crackhead coming in here and hit me. All right, we're going to cut this into wooden planks. <clears throat> now you can do don't like. I used it once tonight already, just for fun, just for fun. It was not meant to be mean. We'll fuel the fire with a wooden plank. And now Don't get your panties all in a bunch. Whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. Sorry, dude. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? <clears throat> Look at this. There should have been way more planks. I bet they're outside. I bet they're outside someplace. Or through the wall, out back. It's fucking hilarious. It just throws them everywhere. Oh, well, they've despawned then. They'll respawn here after a bit. Because I know I'm going to get more than three planks out of a log. All right, now. All right. Uh, what makes the most sense? Look, the stuff's reappeared. Let me go grab these logs. Uh, thank you, Nightbot. Go ahead and cut these up. And then, there's going to be planks everywhere. I wasn't planning on building down here, but <clears throat> I'd forgotten that we got our wardrobes uh, <clears throat> despawned. De Uh, dude, I think there's like a hundred of them or something. Did you see that? We've got sound six all the way up to sound six. Uh, let me grab one more log here. Okay, now, I think this would be the best spot for the wardrobe right here, but we'll turn it sideways. If I do it right, I think we can put three there. All right. Get over here! Oh, shit! God damn it, you scared me. <clears throat> Thank you, Irish. Wow. That scared me. <clears throat> it's, it's funny, though, isn't it? It's a good one. The Mortal Kombat ones, it seems like they're pretty stingy with those. They want you to pay for them and stuff. B2 City. Okay, that gives me enough of the planks. Now the planks should reappear. 
Hell, they're everywhere, aren't they? I'll take that one into hands. Okay. Uh, I need a toolbox, my man. We're gonna have to craft a toolbox. I need one nail, one scrap, uh, some kind of an object, and... Shit. One scrap, or uh, two scrap, two planks, one nail, uh, one bolts, and some kind of a sharp object. Can I do it with a knife? No, I gotta have a smashing object. Oh, I got that, because I got the crowbar, remember? You remember? We got the crowbar. Crowbar should work, don't it? Yep, crowbar works. Okay. So, let's go over to the police station. Oh, there's a cargo drop in B0. Not doing it, though. Oh, we'll take that scrap. Oh, I got the pipe, too. The pipe should work. Get over here! Finish him. That's that is a good one though. All right, here we go. Okay, that one's full. I think I need metal scrap in this one as well. Nope, oh, we're good. <clears throat> here, I'll just I'll just walk around carrying this board all day, right? I'll just carry this border. Good <laughs> morning, Vietnam! Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it is, it's a lovely morning. It is a lovely morning. Here's some more scrap. I'm gonna drop this. Okay, so really what I need are the, um, I need the, Let's drop this. Let's drop that. I need nails and bolts. That's what I need. All right. Let's drop some more of this shit here so I got room to pick stuff up, right? How are we doing on metabolism? Oh, my God. She needs sugar, protein, and carbs again. I don't know why she's so hungry all the time. Come on, finish your candy. Eat eat all that too. We gotta make it some more room here. I think I'll drive over there. Just in case there's some really good loot. I can put it in the truck. Alright. Uh let's see now. We need carbs. I can almost eat all, but can't quite do it. Can't quite do it. I'll eat that. And I'll eat two of the protein. She's just so hungry. Girls just get so hungry all the time. We gotta fix this knife up here before too long, guys. We gotta do that as well. We'll do that here in a minute. About a minute. Let's eat one more sunflower seeds. She's got to eat. You know she's hungry. You know she's hungry. All right. I got the saw. Let's drop this scrap. All right. And let's go get... Let's go get some bolts and stuff. And then we'll put these wardrobes together. How'd that be? We gotta have like 14 of them. Be nice if we found a whole box, wouldn't it? Let's see how many of these puppets we wake up, Craig. <clears throat> well, there's one. Oh, you know what? Ooh, I should check. Eh, I'll check down here and we'll come back. Look at them fucking crackheads are gonna be out in the street. Dickheads. Check this garage first. Okay. Cork. Oh, I don't want that right now. Let's 
see what's in here. No way, dude. <laughs> You're crazy. You are crazy. And since I noticed some people left some doors open, now I gotta shut these. Scrap. More scrap. I'll take it, I guess. More scrap. That's what we wanted. That'll help negate the toolbox, right? We can do all this now. Now all we need is... Oh, streamer loot. Look at that. Our fucking rebar cutter. Look at that. Loot your garages, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? And actually, these junk cars should be looted as well. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll park right here around the corner, and then we'll come back. And... Uh, loot those. That should be good for two bolts. Should be good for two bolts. One out of one junk car, one out of the other. We might actually have three. Damn it. That's aggravating. There's a bolt. There's one bolt. I'm afraid I'm going to activate something if I come up here to this car. Sometimes you can get a uh, toolbox out of one of these cars. Uh, nope. 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 Lid plate. We'll take that. Don't you worry your pretty little head. We'll activate these zombies here in a second. Damn it. No bolts. Alright, here we go. That one's locked. That one's locked. That one's locked, you pricks. I find it hardly. Okay, now, see that door's locked there? There's a trap. It's a trap. If, if this door is open... And that door is locked. I'll take that bread. I will take that bread. And somebody wants to be a real dick about it, they can come close the doors on you. You can't get out. The admin has to come take lock off. Ask me how I know. <clears throat> it is a trap. But I'm going to get these and loot this. And then I'm going to close the door so it doesn't happen to some other poor bastard like it happened to me a while back. Now look, once I close it, oh, never mind, it doesn't have locks on it. Huh, now well, that's surprising. But these three are locked off. It could be three separate people, but it's awfully, awfully um, suspicious, shall I say. It's sus <clears throat> that four garages are locked off by four different players. Highly unlikely. What's up, you little crackhead? I saw you. Uh, yep, I saw you. They have indeed respawned. You didn't think I saw you, did you? Holy hell, no beeper. Please, no beeper. They've definitely respawned. So much for my sniping. Whoa. You realize that's the first little lag that I've had all night. Hopefully they've fixed that in the city as well. That would just be wonder fantabulous if they have. All 
All right, I'm not saying I got them all, but I got the majority of them. All right, so let's go do our thing with the toolbox here. I've got two wardrobes to make, maybe three. Fill with the bolts. All right, I need uh, three more. All right, Craig. Thank you very much for coming in. Always a pleasure, my friend. What is that? Z4? I don't think. Uh... Are you going to storm the castle, Craig? Because we will say this. I don't know if I have anyone. This just one comes to mind. Bye-bye, boys! Have fun storming the castle! <laughs> okay, now we've got the toolbox in that one. I think perhaps I should make a second one over there. I've got enough toolbox to do it. Hmm. Is there anything else I need to do? I think that'll that'll take care of it. Turning the night vision off, though. Wow, that's bright. Okay, now. Let's, uh... That doesn't look quite right, does it? That's not lined up. That's not straight with the stuff on the floor. My God. That is crooked. Well, all right. We'll just fix it with this one. Irish will fix it with this one, my friend. Uh, because evidently I can't see straight. Try that. All right, that's a little better. Oh God, no, it is not. That's as crooked as the other one. Well, they're all gonna be crooked then. Okay, all right, let's see. And yes, the MP5 SD is pretty good. <clears throat> God, those are horrible. Horrible. I could have fit three in there if I'd have got them straight. I don't know that it really makes a difference. Let's see if there's any more outside. All right, through a wall or anything. <laughs> My goodness. Yep, look, look. See that? This game is so goofy about that. Now, I'm breaking a rule here. Ooh, this is good. This is really good. Lead plate and that scrap. Oh my god. Oh, you bastard. Alright, let's just wade into you. Uh, hello, Grim. As long as I already got injured, we might as well add insult to injury. Ooh, 10 money. I got some nails, though. That was worth it. The, these zombies usually have a nail, or more frequently, they have a, um, they've got bolts on them. All right, here we 
we go. And there we go there. And we will go ahead and fill that one with nails. I need two more. And then I need five for that one. All right, let's throw this scrap down. So I'm not going to be carrying it around. Ooh, I can fill that with bolts. There we go. I need one more. I only need one more. Ooh, this will be all right. This will be all right. All right, all right, all right. And actually, I could probably make a third if I really wanted to. Probably do that. It doesn't really matter which way it goes, I guess. Now. God, that was horrible, though. I did a horrible job lining that up. That's one of the things that I really hate about this game, is getting stuff straight. It's, it's horrible. It is really bad. All right. There we go. That's actually the straightest I've got one. That's the straightest I've got one so far. <clears throat> hey, and I could probably put one in front there, couldn't I? Let's try it. Huh. Where's my knife at? <laughs> Stop throwing shit! Oh, uh, you're crazy. can't pick up the rebar cutter. Now, let's put one more right in between here. Why not? If, if we got enough stuff to do it, let's just do it right here. You guys down for that? I've done a horrible, horrible job, but we're going to do it anyway. That worked. See that? It works. It works. Okay, that'll give us four uh, wardrobes right there. That should be plenty, my friends. Plenty. Alright, where's my knife at? Do I still have my knife or did I throw that somewhere? Yeah, I better have that. Okay. I guess I'll take all this. I better have my safety glasses on, hadn't I? Where did it put my night vision? No, we're taking the night vision over the safety glasses. Sorry. <clears throat> Yeah, those safety glasses can fuck right off for about a minute. Look at that. Irish, it looks horrible, but, I, but it's going to be functional. It's functional. Oh, my God. Ran from a puppet into a horde. That's not great. All right, uh, we need some more bolts. Lots more bolts, don't we? What do we need to finish this one? Oh god, we need a lot more bolts off of that one too. Hey, somebody was wanting a harmonica, I just found one. Another harmonica. Wow. Boy, this place looks like a pigsty, doesn't it? Scrap. Okay, cell phone, a mobile phone. If we we're role playing, that would be good. A third harmonica. Wow, what are the odds of that? And a rubber band. And a rubber band. Okay. This place is a goddamn pigsty. And since somebody's locked off all the fucking garages. Not so great. Let's see what I got here in the truck. Let's see, do I have... I think I left all this stuff back there. Do I have any boxes of bolts and nails? It's a fitty. Okay, there is one. I'll take that. Uh, let's just take all this stuff out here real quick and see what we got. I think I took everything out, though. B. 
be nice to find a box of bolts. Hmm. I will take this and put that in miscellaneous number three. I'll take that and put that in miscellaneous number three. I'll take some of this stuff just in case we want to chop it up later. All right, let's look in miscellaneous number four. I don't think so. And one and two might be empty. All right, well, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way then. Okay. Four and three and two and one. All right. <clears throat> Let's go check in here, and we'll be sure to have our knife out. Cause there's probably a crackhead in here on the floor. Yep, it sure is. Oh, man, he got me. Why did I not have my knife? Bitch, this, is, this aggression will not stand, man. Oh, I'm caught. I'm caught on the boxes. No wonder I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. This is bad. This might be the worst I've ever been against a single puppet. God, that was horrible. All right, let's see what we got here. We got some nails. And I'll go ahead and patch if it'll let me. That was horrid. That one only needed one more nail in it, didn't it? I think that was the deal. Okay, now. Uh, I lost my bearings, wrong way to the house. Let's get back up over here. That knocked 50% out of me. Okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Let's go with this one. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, let's click that and that, and it should be able to charge. And then this one will be used up. All right. And this bread, we'll go ahead and eat that bread. Then that one will be used up. We're slowly but surely whittling through our food reserves. Okay, and put that in there. Put that in there. Okay. Now, we need to. Uh, I, actually, I need to make an. How do I want to make another toolbox? That's 9 out of 50. Let's just go do that. Um. Let's go sharpen this pair. We'll just go ahead and do that. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. So let's just do that. I've got another box. Set name. Wardrobe one, I guess. Wardrobe 12. We'll call it Wardrobe 12. God. Can, we, can you type it all, my friend? Ah. Uh, you got 900. All right. Wardrobe 1. Let's try that. Okay. Now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'll take that thread. Thank you very much. Uh, and we'll put that in the wardrobe one. That one. one. Uh, put that plank in there. These planks are coming out of the woodwork. I tell ya. I tell ya. Right now.
Don't love it. I don't want that. Another saw. Hmm. I'll take that. I'll take that. Some scrap. Oh, fine. We'll just take it all. We'll take it all. We'll give it the opportunity to respawn, right? Okay. There we go. Ah, there's another nail. Well done. Some more scrap. And now we'll check this stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to get the night vision on so you guys can see this. A screwdriver. Fuck those pliers. Take the shotgun shells. God, that's so bright. Some more nails. Good, 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 good. Uh, another bolt that gives us three. We need seven. That gives us four. We need three more. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next place. If I find three more nails, we are in business, okay? There's one more. I need two more. Bolts or nails? A mobile phone. No, we're going to have to drop that. I think I accidentally picked that up. Yes, I did. We don't need that. Come on, baby. One more. One more is all I need. Oh, look at that. Streamer loot. How about that, Irish? A 50 out of 50 toolbox, my friend. A 50 out of 50 toolbox. We'll take that, won't we? And actually, I can repair this knife when I go to over to the drill press. That's what we were supposed to do. Ah, an electrical toolbox. Wow. Well done. Hello. Somebody said something. Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop this scrap. We are going to drop this scrap. We're going to drop this toolbox. Move this over here and put this electrical toolbox right there. Well done! We'll drop this scrap and pick up this 86%. Now that is very nice. Fuck those pliers. Give me one more bolt. Nope. One more bolt. God, that wire. Did I check that already? No, yep, I already did. Okay, there's Sodi. Give me one more bolt. Ah, there we go. We got it. This is going to happen, you guys. This is going to happen. Piece of rubber, it can fuck right off. Alright, there we go. Hopefully, nothing spawns in here. Because I got this shit all over the floor. And we are in good shape. Look at that. So now all this shit that I've left all over the floor. I can eat that MRE. We'll put it in here. How would that do ya? That do ya alright? So it does make quite a bit of a mess starting out. 
but it'll be fine. You can pick it all up. Okay, now, let's go sharpen this knife up over here. Shall we? Where's my knife at? And now I should be able to repair it, which I can. Takes it up five at a time. We'll repair that. And it will use some of your kits up. Let's see, what's it using here? You finally got a truck? Oh, well done, well done. I need a zombie bone is what I need. In here on the floor, I think. All right, we're gonna keep repairing this knife. We're up to 88%. And we'll do one more. Got us to 98% on that knife. All right, let's drop this other crap in here for the time being. Until such time as I don't feel good about it anymore. Screwdriver, gloves, this saw, that zombie in here. I'll see if I can chop him up here in just a minute. We'll take the toolboxes into the other room for sure. Okay, we're going to eat all that. That's been long enough. Good old horse steak. Good old horse steak. I mean, really. Check the proximity here. We've got some more stuff we can put in here. And oddly enough, it doesn't look like that zombie has despawned in here, which is funny. All right, let's, uh, let's uh, where's my knife at? What happened to my knife? There's my knife. Let's make a bone needle. Let's go ahead and make up some more uh, sewing kit. Sewing kit is what we need. All right. And I've got that thread. That couldn't have come at a better time. Sewing kit. So it did use up the sewing kit to sharpen that, looks like. All right, and those are dirty rag strips. Let's see here. Can I be in the vicinity of that? Ugh. For shame, for shame. All right, let's take this. What do I want to pick up here? A rubber band, a harmonica, um, wire. Small wooden sticks. Alright, that's no good. Scrap. Road flare. Ooh, the natives have become restless once again. I probably should have put that over here, but that's alright. It's alright. I'll be alright. We can always build another one, can't we? We are so inclined. We could build another one. Now, put the skin in there as well. I will just have to remember to come back and, and touch this thing every so often. Put the pipe in there. Look at this. There is some of it that I can access. Ah, bobby pins. Well done. Okay. Let me 
just go see what I want to pick up here. Some scrap. Take that in hand. Pick up that. And that one should work. A little guy here. Uh, the body indicator. What What is it that you want to know? What is it that you want to know about the body indicator? The second from the bottom, what is that? Oh, I'll tell you here in a second. I think I will. That's your food. You have your health, your stamina, your food, and your drink. Oh my god, Otlet. See here. Oh, they're trapped. Come down the road, you'll see a hunting stand, and that's where I'm trapped. Uh, yeah. Uh, huh. Don't no. Don't eat. Don't eat the guts. Don't eat the guts. You'll get sick. You have to process them, if I remember correctly. You have to actually cook them. Look at this. A box of bolts. Streamer loot, Irish. Streamer loot. A box of bolts. Fifteen of them, my friend. Fifteen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you take all the shit out. Do something with it. I don't care. You really shouldn't throw it on the ground. But that's why... You take the shit out so that it can respawn. I've said it time and time again. Okay. Take it out, put it in a wardrobe, and your shit can respawn. The puppet bodies, eh, I'm not so worried about that. Okay, we'll take this wire, take a bone. I can't pick that up. <clears throat> yeah, I call them zombies, basically. Is what I call them. I'm throwing all this garbage in there. I'll leave somebody with... Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, and... Take the bone. And now we'll go in the other room. <clears throat> That was a really nice find, that box of bolts. Uh, you can put it on a stick. You can mount it on the wall. Mountain zombies on the wall. That don't bother me at all. Smoking cigarettes and watching Captain Kangaroo. Now don't tell me I've nothing to do. Yep. You can mount their head on a wall, my friend. Uh, you can make a, some sort of a mask, too. Right, we did talk about this. Oh, you want... Oh. 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 Huh. I can sing, too. In fact, I'll sing right now. If you want to get down on these hairy balls, hey. why don't you jump right in? Hey. It's a crotch party right up oh. in here. Stop why it. don't you lick on this big jump? Stop it, Dale. Stop it. Stop it. I am so sorry about that. Dale, What if we talked about this. We really did talk about this. 
I am sorry about that, guys. Dale just got carried away. My goodness. Dale! I just shake my head sometimes. Uh, you should go eat something. Where, where are you located currently? If, if you're still playing the single player thing, I can tell you where you can find food, maybe. Or, but, you know, if you want to do it on your own, I understand. Phase four. Oh, dude, you need to go into the woods and tree trunks and search for grubs, eat the grubs, eat the mushrooms. I mean, if you're that hard up, Z1 top left. Really? There's a town there. There's a town there. I can tell you that without even looking. Z1 top left. Well... All right, I lied. D1 is what I was thinking. My bad. What server are you on? Are you still on the individual server? Z1. Hey, I'll tell you where to go that might be... It could be dangerous. Do you have any weapons at all? <clears throat> Come right down here to Z2 pad 9. This intersection right here. This... If you're Z1 top left, come down this yellow road, and right here at this T, there's the best gas station in the whole game right now, as far as I know. Okay? There are zombies there, but there's one big garage, two small garages, gas, sometimes a vehicle spawns there. Um, there should be garbage in there. There's a store. That you should be able to get food and drink there. So if you can kill the zombies that spawn there, you're going to be set. Hopefully you're watching the map right here. Z2 pad 9 right here, right at this intersection. There's the best gas station. If you're Z just run, just run. D0 is what I thought. Look at the two drops up in D0. My goodness. Yep. Just make sure that you have some kind of a weapon that you can kill at least two zombies if the crackheads uh, try to attack you. All right? Glad I could help. <clears throat> That's what we're here for. All right. Now, I need to go cut up some more... Um, cut up some more... Um, woo, I didn't like the sound of that. Let me have these bones. It's worse than that. He's dead, Jim. Let's put that in here. Let's do this right now. Since this wardrobe is... Now I got these toolboxes out of the way. And let's put that in there. And that in there. And that in there. I just need one rag strip just in case I get hit while I'm outside. There's two rag strips. Uh, I try to be. I thank you for saying that, uh, Kingy. I try to be. Um, it doesn't always work out like I want. And sometimes you may have noticed I occasionally get distracted. Uh, yep, eat crickets. Hey, I ate mealworms in real life a couple months ago. A friend of mine came over. We were doing some survival videos and stuff, and we fried up mealworms with butter and Parmesan cheese, and they weren't bad. It basically tasted like eating grass, kind of. Um, if you've ever eaten a blade of grass, either intentionally or unintentionally. It's a stinking ass hat. I don't want to wear it. Mmm, here's some up and go cereal. That'll keep that'll keep you going. Uh, and some milk, and some milk. Right. Um, I've eaten them. Uh, 
I never thought I would do it, but we talked about in a survival situation. Here, here's a backpack and a shirt. This house is not bad for a, a beginner, for sure. Start now. And you got a bed you can rest on. Shotgun shells. <clears throat> we'll just go put this stuff. Again, clean this stuff out. It will respawn. And, and the stuff respawns really quickly in this house. And you notice how the light comes through the floor as well. Isn't that funny? <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and drink this soda now. Let's get some more of this stuff out of the way. I've talked to people who've eaten ants, uh, grasshoppers, crickets. Yep. All right, let's go chop down another tree. I think it's about to get light, actually. Uh, uh, 25 shots in the nose. Uh, plus or minus. Somebody just said, oh, Jesus. That's right. We have a Jesus command, actually. I thought we had a Jesus. Ah, I thought we had a Jesus command. Uh, or is it nobody? It might be nobody. Jesus. You said it, man. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. That's right. That's right. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. <clears throat> Somebody says they're stuck over a puppet. It's starting to get light, though. This is good. This is good. This is bueno. All right. I chopped down this tree over here. We're going to chop down this tree over here. And I may get some puppet spawn on me, so just be ready. You know what I don't like? It's just hard to tell sometimes if you're, um... Ah, there's some bolts. Ooh. Hear that? The natives respond to that. They don't like that. Oh. Chop this tree down. With the saw. Does she? I don't know about all that. <clears throat> See where she's at. Yeah, actually she does. You're right. You're right. Uh, let's pick up one of these and take it in, in the house. And then she can go poop. We even have a bathroom in here. All right, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> she might as well poop and pee while she's in here, right? Yeah, that's what happens. See, you got so much stuff when you first start out that you have your slots filled up, okay? This is how that works. And when you go to do something else, you drop whatever's in your hands. So what I try to do is I try to make it so <clears throat> that it puts it back in the inventory. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here for sounds? We got something that has to do with uh, pooping, don't we? Sounds. Let's look in number five. I think there was something I wanted to see. Come in. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. Um, oh, no, I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around nine, that would be great. Okay. That is not the one. Uh, shit.
Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. And I'm Cal Naughton Jr. We just want to take a moment to talk to you about snow blindness and cats. It's affecting more and more cats every year. And it scares the living shit out of us. <laughs> oh my god. Is it bathroom? I think it's bathroom. I've done so many of these. Don't nobody go in the bathroom for about 35, 45 minutes. Somebody open the window. There you go. <clears throat> there you go. Now, she might as well pee while she's at it. Oh. Uh-oh. They've just reset. They've just reset. <clears throat> Let's see, what's the other one? Oh, so, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. You ever seen a grown man naked? Oh my goodness. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the heads up. She may have to take another, another, uh, another break here in a minute. Let's fill. Let's see. What do I got there? That one's full of bolts. That one's full of bolts. This one needs to be full of bolts, too. All right. Don't get your panties all in a bunch. I won't. I won't. I'll try not to. Thank you. <clears throat> That's Duke Nukem. There's so many good ones. So many good ones. I've got... Hey, do uh, hail. If you're a Duke Nukem fan, you'll know what that is. Or if, you, if it won't work, I'll do it. All right, got a couple more to do. Yeah, instead of going all the way around like I used to do, maybe just go through the hole in the fence. I mean, it's just a thought. Ah, it's starting to get light. Outstanding. Uh, yes. Uh, it's, uh, oh, you're on timeout. I'll do it. I'll do it. You're on cooldown. Hail to the king, baby. And then there's, uh, I think it's kick ass. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. That's the one that you wanted, I hope. Somebody's carrying, on, on the game, they're carrying 146% of the weight that they're supposed to be carrying. Yeah, that's hard on your character. It does it does help uh, your stamina a little bit. It does help a little bit. <clears throat> huh. I am the walrus. No, you're not. You are not the walrus. Uh... I wear this fucking thing as a fashion statement, all right? Right. That's what I do. That's what I do. I tried to get ones that have something to do with the kind of the clothes that we're wearing. You know, just stuff like that. Uh... What was the yellow? Oh, I know what the yellow one was. This is good. If somebody says, come pick me up on this yellow road... Follow the yellow brick road. 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 I hope you guys like that. It cracks me up. Get out of there. 
Get out of there. Get out of there. Alright. There's some pretty funny stuff. And I, I try to pick stuff, you know, that people would know as well. If you've been alive for a while. Thanks. Let's see what else we got. What is the one? What is the one wrath? I want to see what that one is. I don't remember what that is. Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. Of course. Of course. Of course. I forgot about that. We have Vincent. We happy? Yeah, we happy. I'll give you one more here before I get back to work. Hey, bada 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 so wing bada. Hey, bada 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 so wing bada. He can it, 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 so wing bada. Oh my gosh. Some pretty good ones. Pretty good. All right. We're three for four, ladies and gentlemen. We are about there. Uh, what's this one need? Four more bolts. We could finish that later, I suppose. All right, this is wardrobe one. This is going to be wardrobe number two. Let me get my caps. I want all caps. And that'll be a good one. When you beat up a puppet with a baseball bat, that'll be a really good one. Swing, bada, 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 swing. All right, let's open that up. Let's get out there. This will be set name, wardrobe three. I'll do it for you. See, the thing is, it's on a cooldown. Sometimes it, it won't let you. You do it for uh, the commands. Whoa. The natives are getting restless. I like big guns, and I cannot lie. I do like me a few Duke Nukem <clears throat> sound effects. I don't know if you guys picked up on that. All right, let's see here. Do I have all the shit cleaned up off the floor? Eh, not quite. Most of it, though. Look at how fast it is. Oh, the creepy mask. Yeah. Look at that. I'll just drop it in here to one of these. Let's get the knife out, just in case. Ooh, some boots. Apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. Let's see if we can fit that in there. A revolver? Um, yeah, I might have heard something about that. It's, you know, you I hear so much, but, you know, motorcycles. Um, yeah, the thing I did with driving the ATV into the bunker, <clears throat> that'll be a thing, a thing of the past, then, because you'll be able to drive a motorcycle in there. I just need, how many more nails do I need? Three more nails. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Guys, you guys watch my intro here for a second, and I'll start a new recording. We'll finish this last one and then go back to the uh, house, all right? Give me a second. I got a P2. You've 